Welcome to Shovel. Welcome back. Well, I can't say it because... I was like, oh, I was like, that was very close. No, today she's been with me too much. It's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video. Look who I have with me today. Hello. Yeah. International cross-dressing superstar. I'm also <laughs> feeling particularly sassy because in order to be the same height as Rolly, I'm wearing heels. Yep. So. And you're still not my height. <laughs> and it's not because I'm obscenely tall. It's because you're obscenely small. No, you are obscenely tall. I am average, God damn it. I'm I am only, average. I'm literally six foot. Are you actually? Yeah. Oh, I'm like five foot <coughs> some... Oh. <laughs> Save money on a coffin. Coffin is very appropriate. It oh. is the spooky season of the Halloween. Oh, yes. Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Do you dress up ever? Not really. It's because I'm always like, I'm not good at makeup or anything. So my thing is because I never want to look sort of like jank. I want to look flawless. And because I can't do makeup, I don't bother. Oh, you should get Nate to do some of your prosthetics. Oh my God, yes. So oh, good. you give me a third nose. I, don't know. <laughs> I like that that's where you want yeah, to Yeah, just like to. three noses. <laughs> the beak woman. <laughs> In alternate scary news, Rolly has no never approach never men writing women no i have no idea what this is about Dude, I'm a, this the only thing scary. i can imagine is about misogyny or something <laughs> that's the only thing i'm men writing women do you read a lot of books rolly Being no book i'm one. dyslexic so i don't read <laughs> so men writing women is a subreddit where people find where men authors have written about women oh that's issues. interesting and okay okay rate how well they do okay okay some okay some of them are like <laughs> okay, I can imagine. Yes, yes. So I got a couple of those today. Okay. I thought it might be fun for us to go through them. Yeah, we're doing Robert Gabaldi. Who is that? JK Rowling's alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. So this is from an author called Campbell Black. Oh. Very gothic sounding. Campbell. Campbell sounds almost like a second name anyway. You know when people say, oh, it's a red flag when people have a first name for a second name? Yeah, yeah. Name. Nine. Nine. Oh, a second, second nine. Nine. Yeah, second oh, nine. Yeah, hello, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm the bag of peas. And this is the opposite. But I don't know, it's, it's giving me good vibes. Okay. I have high hopes. I don't. Are you ready? From Letters from the Dead. Ooh. Charlie! Why did he have to be such a perfect arsehole? She rose from the sofa hearing the plastic crackle under her body. She had to get the circulation in her legs. Sometimes at her age, over 35, Martha could feel the body yielding and the bones complaining and the breasts as if they were had lives of their own, sagging audibly, audibly in the night. I know I bastardised the reading of that. What in God's Body name? yielding. And breasts sagging audibly. We set them on fire at the end. Uh, How does your breasts sag audibly? audibly? When you just go... Sag. Is it like a booty clap, but it's like a... a a breasty tap. Like what? But that's not sagging. That's no, like, like what rejoicing. Would... How does sagging make a sound? <sighs> if I was oh, oh yeah, that's a little... Thank you, yes. <sighs> I have us. never in my life been around an old person who might have slightly, you know, as people get older, everything goes south. I've never gone to, like, right over my grandparents, I've never like watched my grandma and gone, I can hear her body <laughs> sagging. Like what? I can hear her boob sag. Yeah, like. Can I also say how offensive that is? Yeah. At the age of fucking 35, bro. Th oh my. Th 35. <laughs> Like she's not even aged. Oh, of course, at the Both age of 30. What? At 35. At what? what? Maybe Campbell's like, you know what? All women past the age of 25, they're done. Maybe. I mean, no, no, but that is like that is like the ultimate misogynistic talking point. I mean, like, you gotta get them in the prime, and that's the justify having like child marriages. They're like, well, I mean, I yeah. know I'm not quite 35 yet. Absolutely, but yeah. doing all right. Yeah. You know? I think Very has got, yeah, got yeah, yeah. a couple of yeah. years to it. How about yours? Um, well, I go to the gym sometimes. You can kind of see a bit of boob. I have a tiny bit. Although wearing you black, do. it hides it a bit. But No, no, no. This yeah. is impressive. This yeah. is impressive. The camera just used Shall I take my clothes <laughs> off? You can see my Ooh, poi... My, Campbell would be pleased. My poi boobs. Oh, I'll like, them sag. Um, yeah. Oh, it's like a klaxon. Oh, <laughs> God. This is by Agna... Michael, ready? It's all about Agnes. Her breasts were like birds. Big, warm, wild birds. They throbbed, tickled. Throbbed? Waited. I've never got a pigeon. Oh, that pigeon's throbbing. <laughs> I mean, a throbbing Imagine pigeon. Imagine a throbbing, a th tickling pigeon. Agna has never seen a boob. No. Like, in their life, never. Throbbing, tickly, <laughs> weighted boob. What? Imagine, imagine, Feathers. imagine comparing your birds to- Imagine your... comparing your birds to breasts. <laughs> imagine comparing your boobs to big birds. Do you know what he's done? He's heard of the bird blue tit and he's almost like, oh yeah, they're that like tits go. Like what? Science. Science, Science. Go. I don't need a degree. I've just got my eyes. I can see, I say what I say. It's like catch phrase, catch tits. <laughs> I don't understand that like, wild birds. Even if you want to describe breasts right, when I think of throbbing, I actually think of like, 
I think a b- throbbing breast would scare me. Yeah. <laughs> like, babe, Jess is like GP. really <laughs> intense veins all over them that are like really it's protruded, like, like pulsating. If it's not like a sensual, you're right, like aubergine-esque throbbing, yeah. then it just makes me think of, you know when cats go like... <laughs> oh no. My breasts were like regurgitating cats. That would be a better comparison yeah. than this. This person needs to see a boob. Are those things that are birds? Yeah, do? like what? Yeah, I'm sorry. Birds don't throb or oh, tickle. Wait. A throbbing pigeon. <laughs> mm, a, re- a throbbing dove. No, I, absolutely. I like the way that we've gone like wild birds and you're talking about these gorgeous quaint ones. I'm thinking like hawk. Hawk, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eagle. <laughs> Eagle. Imagine a oh. clawy boob. Oh. oh my God, oh. cut your nails, girl. I'm not talking about your fingers, it's about your tits. But we were saying it's like, oh, it's so cold, my nipples could cut glass. Yes. I've heard that a few times. Maybe yeah. that's where yeah. Yeah. Oh my it God, it's going. like, my breasts are like window panes. Like, I don't... <laughs> not like birds. No, 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 no. We've changed it. We've changed it now. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's all about the birds and the b- b- boobs. Birds and the boobs. Birds oh my god, yeah. Oh my god, have you, have you had the talk? <laughs> yeah. Birds and the boobs. <laughs> Wait, what? In the birds and the bees, what's supposed to be the women and the men? I have absolutely no idea. I imagine because bees have a stinger. Yeah. Do you know, I've never really thought about no, that. No, I have. I, 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 it doesn't work. Oh, imagine birds. birds. Imagine a bird mating with a bee. I mean, the boom, the boom movie. The boom, the boom, boomers. Oh, boomers can't mean. The bee movie had a bee mating with a human. Did it? Right. I've never watched the bee movie, so I don't know. Don't waste time. Uh, well, I, don't no, I, 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 have, I don't have enough time to do that. Oh, blue tit. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, to it, to it. She's coming for you. Oh my gosh. I need that as my new text tone. Thank you. Yes, well done. You can find my album on Spotify. Okay, this next one oh is from Waiting in Vain by Colin Channer. The mattress stirred. He heard the strike of her match, felt the heat and the tidal pull of her lips. Okay, the tidal pull of her lips is quite an arousing sentence. I will give you that, Colin. I will give you that. She was naked and the urgency of smoking did not disturb her breasts, which were hard and smelt like turtles. No, and still like turtles. Why are you comparing breasts to turtles? Turtles. What? Turtles. What is wrong? Turtles are like then? hard shell things with beaks. And Turtles bre- have beak. Well, no, but they have. Oh, I'm guessing like a terrapin because they almost have like they have the sort of like sharp beaky sort of Ooh. things. It's almost like nothing that actually beaks, but they look more like beaks than like sure. an animal with like yeah. a mouth it's with not teeth. Like molars and canines. no, no, because I, I don't think they have teeth. They have, they have like a serrated kind of almost. I don't know. I've never really examined them. A- I just sort of assumed they were really gummy. No, I'm pretty sure they've got like almost like their their mouths are like serrated blades, a little bit sort of. See, it's because of people like you that I thread things like what do turtle teeth? Look yeah, like? absolutely. Yeah, and then you say that I'm on truth. Well, <laughs> both can be true. <laughs> Both can be true. I mean, I'm not a woman, obviously, and I don't have breasts myself, so I don't know, like... Are you if... telling me you've never wanted your breasts to look like turtles before? Robert? No, but I mean, I don't mind if mine are a bit harder because, like, I want them to be, like, just fully muscle. Do your breasts ever get hard? I know the no. nipples can, but, like, hard, you like... Yeah, like, your boobs getting aroused Which were hard, hard like, like, like turtles. This is very, like, Regina George's mum with the breasts. She's like, oh, I've seen her breasts. Yes, they're, like, hard yes. as rocks. Yeah, it's very that. Like, what? Still, though... So this time, they're not throbbing. No. I think Colin and Agna need to have a little chat. They do. And see a boob together. They've never witnessed a woman. <laughs> like, it's just been... Or if they have, it's like a knight. You know, like one of those, like, made out of titanium. Yeah, the 1310s, <laughs> when it was, like, illegal to even be, like, remotely close to a person of the opposite gender. So it's like, They're, like, oh. carved, like, Pinocchio. Yeah, <laughs> I f***ed a suit of armour. <laughs> it was hard, but also throbbing. And still. And still. <laughs> At the same time. And also bird like Hard. Somehow. I'm so confused they're weird right these are in real books like editors have put money into this you know what's a sexy and obvious comparison for breasts turtles, turtles. teenage mutant yeah. ninja tits <laughs> like what what are we supposed to i mean there's so many ways you put tits into things I don't get it these people have never seen women of the hundred you know scratch that million things that i would want my breast to be like turtles would not be no ones. jitterbug perfume that's a good title though that's the name titles. of the book yeah. oh jitterbug, jitterbug. I, I would read that. Mm. I'd pick it up at least. Okay. I'd, I'd see the blurb. Tom Robbins. Ready? Enjoying the liquid pleasures of the pool were seven or eight unusual human females. Well, sounds unusual. To me. Yeah. Oh, they were. Ve- oh, go with something human extra. Females. I'm letting so you know. Stupid. <laughs> Short in stature, though full in contour, their bones packed into loaves of ivory and petunia, their tangled hair hanging like ropes of seaweed nearly to their heels, their perfect nipples as red as guinea pig eyes. Oh, for f- sake. Guinea pig eyes. What a knee 
niche thing to a guinea pig's eyes. I actually don't know what to say. This is the most ridiculous thing I've guinea ever Guinea pig? He's had a guinea pig as a pet. The only thing you could possibly compare it to is, oh, is that a guinea pig? Yeah. For a second, right? Let's let's just assume that guinea pig's eyes, right, are an arousing and perfectly normal comparison to make. Why is the idea of perfect red nipples arousing? That just sounds painful. I feel like uh, nipples are more like pink colour, though, right, than right? red. Right, like, is that like, red? Like, you again need to see a gp dude. yeah i'm assuming that would be like a white person then but white people nipples are more pink. like pinky I mean, like from the ones i've seen red i don't red that's war that's, that needs some that's not very turtle like red turtles birds guinea pig guinea eyes pig. do you know when you said to me this is what it's going to be like the last thing i thought was that men were going to be saying that women's nipples are like guinea pig eyes what surprises me about these is i'm looking at that and i'm like this is a picture right of a printed page mm. so somebody has paid money to this author and to their team an editor has looked at this and gone yeah checks out also, Checks out. their tangled Pinkies. hair hanging like ropes of seaweed. <laughs> I've never once looked at seaweed and gone, oh, that's like attractive. Seaweed? Well, they are unusual human females. This person's mm -hmm. got some weird fetish. Like <laughs> mermaid guinea pigs. Like I don't understand. Like Perhaps they are mermaids or like vixens. Maybe. Sirens beckoning you to your death. With like raw nipples. Yeah. Mm. Ooh. I mean, it's like cut. They've been bashed against like the coral reef and all their nipples and skin have been peeled off and they've got seaweed hair and red gaping nipples. Because like, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 And you'd hear the squeaking of a guinea pig. Going... <laughs> Behind is just like... The ever arousing sound. The ever arousing sound. Of when I, yeah. guinea pig. I honestly believe what's happened is he's had a pet or has currently has a pet. And it was the first thing he saw. He's and was like, like oh, I'm going to compare I it to I need that. an adjective. Yeah. You. Guinea Sons pig. guinea pig. Yeah. Merlin. Little old Stephen. Do. Yeah. Do you think sometimes they put them in there to troll us? Or do you think they actually find this arousing? No, because I do think like men are a bit weird like this. Like I do feel like it's one of those things that they just have no idea. Mm. They clearly didn't get like a woman's sensitivity sandwich. reader. Right. Who what? needs a woman's sensitivity yeah. <laughs> reader? That's a ridiculous thing. Heliconia Summer mm. is this book by so Brian. Her alter ego name, doesn't it? Mm. Heliconia. It's a drag queen for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Heliconia by Brian W. Adlis. The <laughs> water droned in her ears. Oh God. Her breasts were small and cinnamon tipped. <laughs> Her hips broad, her waist narrow, the sun sparkled on her skin, Do you her know, human I want cinnamon tipped breasts. Cinnamon tip That sounds tasty. It's like cinnamon AF. toast crunch, but like the, the tit version. Like cinnamon rolls? Oh. Of all of the things that we've compared boobs to, cinnamon mm. tips. At least it, that's probably the tastiest out of throbbing birds or I would. turtles. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Maybe that's why they're red. Like Maybe it is. Yeah, oh my god, too much cinnamon rubbed in. <laughs> Stupid Steven, you shat on the floor. Have some cinnamon in your eyes. No, Margaret. No. That's not how we do the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> to be fair, out of anything we've seen so far, this is this, this is seems enough. like the least disturbing. I feel like this is a low bar. To yeah, be certain, but absolutely. I totally agree with you. Her breasts were small and cinnamon tipped. Mm. But when it says cinnamon tips, are we thinking are of like the color? Yeah. yeah. Are they kind of sparkly and crunchy? You know, mm. like do they have like a gritty sugar? Or they're gritty? Oh my god, her nipples were gritty. <laughs> Sexy. Yeah, absolutely. They sprinkled everywhere. It was like a, like a <laughs> pepper. Yes. Yeah. They <laughs> deposited mm. the sun sparkled on its skin. This is like Edward from Twilight. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh disgusting. <laughs> Those vampires and their cinnamon tip nipples. Mm. This is the skin of a killer bill. Don't trust him. Don't yeah, trust I don't, him. this one doesn't make me have such an aversive reaction. You're so right. This one makes me intrigued as opposed to revolted. Yeah. I'm more like, oh. I'm in. I'm yeah. in. I want to see I'm, more. Oh, she's in it. Yeah. <laughs> cinnamon tipped. I didn't know breasts came in flavours. No. I do love a cinnamon roll, so I wouldn't mind. Maybe not for a woman, because... I'm guy, but like anyone can have cinnamon a nice, tipped nipples. Yeah, a nice hunky muscle daddy with nipples are cinnamon flavored nipples. Gender inclusive. Cinnamon for sure. toast crunch. Cinnamon tip crunch. What else would you have? Peanut butter, chocolate. I don't want peanut butter. <laughs> gravy. Gravy. That's in the Christmas DLC. Pack gravy right nipples. There. Mm -hmm. Gravy body. Oh, she was that gravy. And cranberry sauce. Cranberry sauce. Bread pudding. Bread pudding. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. There's a business in here. Uh, I mean, I don't think there <laughs> is actually. Maybe for some niche fetish, but I don't know if this is a marketing. Uh, hey, you you want to miss out? If you want a good RPM, I don't think talking about nipples and things are going to do a good RPM. So. It's going to make my second million. Oh, mean, maybe. My first and second. That's yeah. All, that's how invested I am in this idea. The spice flows Oh, Joe, her. stop it. The sixth spice girl. Oh, maybe. Cinnamon spice. Cinnamon spice. Mm. Mm. This is her secret. That's yeah, it is. Yeah. It was cinnamon all along. Can mine be blue raspberry? Blue raspberry. <laughs> I mean, what is blue raspberry? What even is blue raspberry? Yeah, that's just blue, right? It just tastes blue. It, it just like... like 
like a bubblegummy flavour, but like that's you know because I associate go... blue with bubblegum flavour. You know when you go and get a slush and you're like, I'll have blue, please. Yeah. That, I think. Cinnamon, basic. My nipples are covered in gum. Oh, oh, get those vampires away, girl. Yeah, don't come near my nips. It's a savoury Oh my edition. gosh. They watched Twilight too much. For sure. This is like, mm-hmm. this is they were the wolves in like, no. the dessert. Yeah. Garlic covered nipples. I don't think that'd be very good. Lazy garlic or is it when you crush yourself? Mm. Oh, crushing and nipples in the same oh, sentence. Oh, I mean, there's a margin for everything. <laughs> this is the skin of a killer who has tits, Oh Bella. God, I, I can't deal with this, no. I never understood the Twilight's <laughs> pull. I feel like I've heard of it a lot more since Harry Potter's been found upon. Okay. People are like, all right, I'll jump. I'll the- jump ship to the thing that was kind of around about the same time that almost had the same kind of fandom, yeah. but just a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I oh God, really, here we go. I really enjoy the latter movies. And I do think I'm a bit biased because one of my bi awakenings was Alice from the show. Okay. Does she have cinnamon nipple? She might do. Do you see the appeal? I guess. It's hard for me because I am a flamer. Hell so <laughs> you are also you need to put yourself in the mindset not just of being attracted to women, but also being a 15, 16 year old girl. Yeah. Rabid. I mean? She was so fast and she was so kind. Okay. And she had the flicky hair thing. She's going. got my hair when I had when I was a teenager. And she can like see the future. Okay. She's pretty I cool. don't want to be with someone who can see the future. She's pretty badass. I don't want to be like, oh be careful today, because it might be the day where you die. I know when you do like But she she makes it cool. She's like, we're going to be good friends. Don't kill her. <laughs> she got those snickerdoodle teeth. Oh, no, we're not doing that. No, no. What is a snickerdoodle? It's an American, like, chocolate bar, I'm pretty sure. It sounds snickerdoodle. amazing. Snickerdoodle. Yeah. I'm envisaging peanuts, caramel, wafer, and chocolate. I'm pretty sure there must be some kind of cinnamon in it, then. I guess this is Snickers. It makes me think peanut. Yeah, but I don't think that's what it is. Because they the don't have part? Snickers there. They have other things. They don't have Snickers in America. I'm pretty sure they have their own version. Do you not have Because like, they've, they've got their own version of Mars Bar as well. It's not actually called Mars Bar. They've got their own... I can't remember what they call them all, but I'm pretty sure... That, maybe they have Snickers there. I mean, Snickers is amazing. If you haven't had Snickers, please, Americans, go get yourself Snickers. So I know Mars Bars, they have a Mars Bar, but it's called something different. Bars, so I'm assuming great. Snickers is the same thing. Do you know, Mars as a company is so big. Mars owns cat food. Cat food, yeah. Whiskers. Mm. 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 Whiskers. They own... Whiskers um, nipples. But they... they, they, they oh, God. No, we're not, going to, we're not going to start bringing animal food into it. <laughs> Jesus. The girl is shaped like a knife. What also what kind of knife? A butcher <laughs> knife? A serrated a machete. A, yeah, it could be like a bread cutting knife. Oh, what's those uh, the Japanese ones? A katana. A samurai. A katana. It could sure. be a katana. Yeah. That's God. Tall girl. Right what there. does this even mean? Bloodsworn by be Scott. Like a... Scott, what are you talking about? She was shaped like a knife. I'd be a butter knife. A butter knife, yeah. Soft and pathetic. <laughs> Rounded. Rounded. Kind of heavy. Approachable. Approachable. All, yeah. You know? But not very useful for other than to butter, butter. Yeah. yeah oh my god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I was a knife, I would be. You'd be like a jaggedy saw. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yes. I, I'd actually be an entire, like, uh, iron saw that they used to, like, cut open, like, <laughs> gates. The gates of hell. That girl is shaped like a knife. Could you imagine? No, I don't I want mean... to imagine that, actually. Thank you. That is quite a disturbing. That, that, picture. Yeah, I, what kind of weird language? are they from? Maybe it's all the Gen Alpha slang. Yeah, skibbity. Skibbity. Where the map oh, are you? Oh, God, yeah. Wow. Oh, my God. What a knife. She's a knife, girl. She's a knife. She'll fit my spoon. <laughs> like, what? I just... Now I'm bringing cutlery into it. She's a like, knife I want to fork. Yeah. Do you know what? Oh, exactly. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. But I'm just, you're here all night. There's about halfway through these videos where I'm just like, I'm done. I'm done. Halfway, it just like doesn't a, make sense I just, to me. Yet another unrealistic no, so, yeah. just standard for women. Size zero wasn't good enough. Honestly. Now that I know what size you know, minus one. Nice. Yeah. Size minus sharp. I'm shaped like a spatula, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps a set of <laughs> nesting balls. I'm trying to picture that as a person. What would I be? I think they're just saying round. You'd be a sieve. I'd be a sieve. Yeah, holy. No, I'd be the sieve. I've got too much holes in my body. Yeah, yeah. I'd be a colourful sieve. I'd want to be a cheese grater. A cheese grater. That feels good, okay. right? Like a lemon squeezer. That sounds cool. Ooh. I'm more of a ladle shape myself. A ladle. Yeah, that's probably more realistic. Where do the hands go if you're a knife? You don't have any hands. <laughs> what is she you're shaped like? No, that's the thing. That what, they, You wouldn't have arms. It would literally just be like your torso. In a book, how the <laughs> is this supposed to get... You I feel like if you're about. going to compare someone with like a <coughs> utensil, you'd be like a bottle opener. You know the ones that cork, like the, like the the ones you squeeze and it's like that. Like, yeah. yeah, like that's more of a human shape. Yeah, the Killing Floor. The by Killing Lee Floor. The that ki- sounds like a good book. The Killing Floor. I would want to yeah, understand what that breast, is. That means I think her breast rested on the edge of the table. And that then means I cut they're them really off. big. Did they make a sound? Did they? Did, did they? Sack when, or did yeah, they? while they were on the table. Oh, I had a teacher. 
whose breasts actually did this. Is it because they were massive then? She was a math teacher and oh. her boobs were so big, she'd like rest pens on it. Oh, stop no, it. No, legit. I swear to God, she'd be like, and she'd just leave it there. Oh. And when she spoke, she'd be like, because they were like really big. They were like a proper tabletop. And she'd be like, and then everyone would be like, oh, oh she's coming because. Oh, she's coming. <laughs> when you're like naughty, which I often was in school. Oops. When um, you were naughty? She would come to your table to like make sure to like watch over you. Okay. But when she came in between, like she kind of, oh, sorry. You kinda, bitch! Whistled like this, like in between the chairs. Oh, for God's sake. boobs were so sake. big, they would like rub on the table and take out people's pens. Oh, no. I can imagine some teenage boys who loved it when she walked past them. Yeah. Oh, the pervs. Yeah, yeah they, were, they were fixated. Her breasts rested on the edge of the table. I wish I could know what the next word, like the next sentence. Yeah. Is, is this horror? Is, like arousal, romantic. I need to know. Or maybe it is just her breasts detached from the rest of her body. Maybe. That's the killing flaw. Oh, but maybe, maybe actually it's one of these things where. She's wearing like a drag queen breastplate. Yes. And maybe that's what it is. Yes. Like, Do you know what? Take it off for now, this girl. This is RuPaul. Who's oh just my gone. God. <laughs> it's Terrifier when he walks around with a woman's boobs. He's like, yes, here's my alter ego. <laughs> Women absolutely do this if they are larger, they are heavy. Yeah. Do you know, I saw this TikTok of a pregnant wife and her husband okay. was like, I want to know what this feels like. I want to know what this feels like. Exactly. So they cling filmed around his body a watermelon and two big honeydew melons okay. and got him to like do things. Like, oh, this sounds things. like a fetish. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was just to like demonstrate what it feels like to carry that weight on you. So she was like, she dropped a pen and she was like, pick it up. And he couldn't. And she was like, get in the shower. Shave your legs, and he's like, <gasps> Oh God. But it's true, these things do be heavy. But in that case, if your wife was like heavily pregnant or something, like I think it'd be quite a nice thing to like shave her legs for her. Maybe she'd be like, You know what, do it for me. Yeah, I think that's very kind. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'd be too scared to be fair. It needs to be like a good safety guard. Maybe. Yeah. So. Not, not one of those old fuzzy duddy razors. Well, I do, do, do women use old fuddy duddy razors? Sometimes I can tell, you know, like when the little gel strips are gone. Okay. And so you're like, Oh, actually, I might nick myself. Okay. Yeah, you don't want that. No. Yeah. Use my code at Manscaped. <laughs> I've definitely sat like that before. Mm -hmm. I don't think I could. I'm no, sadly I, not as well endowed. I, I'm not blessed enough. <laughs> I am not um a woman, so... <laughs> Tropic of Night. Okay, um, by Jimmy Paz. What a guy, she crowed and got up and sat crowed. on his lap and kissed him on the mouth. She really did have the most excellent mouth, Paz reflected, like a teacup full of hot eels. What the f***? Charlotte. What, what, is the, what is this video? Oh, what, are what, 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 what are you going to call this video? What, I have no what idea. This is like the this most is more chaotic than I thought it would be. Her lips were like a teacup full of hot eels. Mm. What are you doing to know what a cup of hot eels tastes like or feels like? Do you know what that like? makes me think of? It makes me feel that someone's gone tongue -la 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 -la, like tongue and then just imagine that being an eel. Mm. This person's never been kissed before. No. I'd, if anyone had described like making out with me or kissing, it's like eating like uh, making up with like a teak of, of hot eels. eels. I'd be like, are you gonna eat me in your sleep or something? Like, are you psychotic? Like, I would see that as a criticism. Yeah, like not what? a positive review. No, I, I'm like, you're either psychotic and you wanna eat me in my sleep and be like, oh, I really wanted to taste more of your eels. Or are like, you if stinging? you stinging? Are you electric? Oh my god! Oh, zap, zap, girls. Why are they hot? But it's like, guess someone's mouth is warm. <clears throat> if I made out with someone who had like a cold mouth, I'd be like, have you just had ice cream or are your soul's gone? <laughs> like, why a teacup? Why, why not a teapot? I don't know. Why not a nesting bowl? Maybe the thing like old woman like a teacup. Only a tiny eel. Only a tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Eels! I can't. The only thing that makes me happy is this is not printed in a book. Oh, yeah, okay, this looks like... Well, it could be. We just haven't... Maybe. Maybe there is a book called Tropic of Night. Tropic of Night. See, it sounds so sexy, and then yeah. you're making out with eels. 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 I've never kissed a woman and thought there should be more slimy wriggling. Yeah, like, what? Mm. Possibly. They've seen, like, some kind of eel image, and the eel's doing this, and maybe they're making uh, out with, like, like maybe, the, maybe the tongue where it was a bit erratic, and that was, like, why they've done that. But... Maybe the editor was like, Bob, your adjectives are too boring. We need more imagery. We need, yeah, please. <laughs> Give me a metaphor. And, and they, they went, yep. They kept that in just for you. lols. <laughs> Maybe we're the problem. We're knocking it before we, we tried it. Not Have you the ever problem. tried making out with a teacup full of bottles? No, the same way I've never <laughs> a boxing glove on. Like, it's just you, sometimes you just know things aren't a good idea. So I, I don't think I'm going to ever make out with a 
cup of hot eels. I too enjoy kissing someone who tastes like a raw, slimy, salty fish. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Callum ages ago did like a video where we talked, we ate like disgusting British food and one of them was roll mop herring. And it was just I like- I thought you were gonna say you ate eels because that is a British thing. Oh jelly yeah, no, yeah, 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 jelly eels. We didn't have that, but we had, it was called, I think it was roll top herring, roll mop herring, herring. It's basically herring rolled up and it was like soaked in vinegar mm. and it was a bit fermented. And it was the foulest thing I've ever put into my mouth. You didn't try making out with it? No, we didn't actually. Rolly, no. yeah. But I did shove it. How does anyone enjoy eating this? It was like torture. I'm not trying to say it's so like, well, my taste buds are the be all and end all of taste, but how anyone enjoyed that. I'm yeah. like, and Callum even spat it out and he's like probably like- he in, likes He loves food. weird shit from across yeah. the world. And like, that I- That surprises me. Yeah, so the fact that he would be like violating as well, I was wow. absolutely disgusting. Richard Britton. Oh, says. Do you? <laughs> Ready? Nice to meet you, Richard. I'm Miranda. Ooh. Richard glanced at her chest, as though knowing her name gave him permission to ogle her. His eyes widened as he realised that she possessed the most incredible cleavage, like alabaster watermelons. <laughs> nice and this is to in meet the book. you. Are you travelling far beyond Dover? Said her giant watermelon. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It actually gave them like mouths. What are alabaster watermelons? I, I have what a no watermelon idea. Look like what is an alabaster watermelon? That just looks like a mouldy melon to me. It doesn't look very appealing. I know. Like, why would you want this? No. Kind of watermelon. Maybe they were like old starchy boobs. Maybe. Right? And they made noises. And they groaned. They groaned. All <laughs> of these women need to see a doctor. I find it funny that they're obsessed with breasts. They've never been like, oh, her vagina was like, I don't know, an envelope sending all the goods. I don't like, what one? Her camel toe bar. Her camel toe. Annoying. Oh my God, talk about camel toes. My mother friend Hannah was the other day. She reminded me of a, a site called Cool Camels. It was a really cool old web, website where like you would make, you'd hire these camels, you'd adopt these camels and it had like earned things from like, some of your camels were like space astronauts or like writers or Wait, doctors. Was, they're like avatar camels. Yeah, the avatar camels. camels. Okay, and you would, like, you would level them up by playing little games. It was about like Neopets, like but it was about camels. And I was suddenly like, oh my God, I forgot about cool camels. Wow. It's dead now, but like, oh, why? yeah. You know, like Club Penguin. So they're stripy? Yeah, oh my mm. God. Oh. Could be worse though. Whipped. In a James Bond novel, Alabaster Watermelons would be the woman's actual name. That's true. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That again, makes a great drag name. Mm -hmm. Who are you? Alabaster. Well, I, I love, um, I love a lot of like carry on films and a lot of the names that they give like their fun characters or something. There, there was one, it was like one of the, the people were the Duke to Pomfrits. And that just means like the the the, the, Chris, the, the yeah. <laughs> When you are mine by Michael Robertson. Robertson. Oh, that sounds oh. like a fake name. Oh throbbing. Robert Robertson. Rob oh. Let's see if this is a throbathon. I found myself agreeing and wondered later if my ovaries had made the decision for me. They sometimes jiggle when I'm around a man I fancy. What? Some people get butterflies in their tummies. I have I jiggling ogres. I could not imagine walking around and like the sensation sort of like here on your, is it about, is that here, right? Is that where your ovaries are? A bit yeah, lower? Yeah, here. The idea of like having suddenly feeling like it's like jiggering around like this, like I'm, like, I'm dying. <laughs> this is the problem with not having sex ed at school. Men think oh, yeah. that this is how women actually behave. Yeah. So this is a man writing as a if woman. he's actually a woman talking about women stuff, like what? Some people get butterflies, I get jiggling ovaries. Oh, that sounds like like a medical condition or it sounds like an STI or something like oh no the writer has to be a man or somebody who doesn't have yeah because a woman would, and that, like yeah like uh, if this is a woman writing it she would never this write woman right? yeah would never ever no. the editor has to have been a man mm -hmm. the publisher has to have been a cis man like the amount of non-diversity involved in making a mistake like jiggling this. ovaries jiggle I mean, do you think they could hear them like, mar like maracas or something you could like hear them inside <laughs> jiggle 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 so the ovaries and the egg Egg is forming inside, right? The eggs are inside. Yeah, the so that is like maracas. So it was shakes around, and then yeah. the eggs making like a clacking sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. sure. They'd all die. Yeah, they're very sensitive. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh God! Jingle jangle, <laughs> jingle ed. ovaries, jingle ovaries. I'm going to die. <laughs> Sex ed with Rowley. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the maraca ovaries. Yeah. Happy Mondays are shook. Well, have you checked the batteries in the ovaries or try turning them off and on again? That no. always works for me. Watch batteries don't last very long, so don't worry about them. <laughs> my ovary has jiggled. I had a giant ovarian cyst, and my doctor said it was making my ovary wobble. Oh God! Basically, mini torsions that corrected themselves. It was very painful. Would not. See, recommend. I said it was a medical condition. <laughs> I said you need to go to the doctor, girl. You're right. My ovaries don't jiggle, jiggle. Oh they no, fall. stop! I forgot about that. That was that was the time. I'm talking about memes that disappear. I yeah. I want to see you wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> oh, God, disgusting. Riding in their own little fear. You really gotta see it. My ovaries don't jiggle, jiggle. She should probably get that looked at. She 
she should. should. Yeah. She should. She's got cysts on her ovaries, girl. I have cysts on my ovaries. Do you? Oh, mm. does it painful? Well, not anymore. It was. Oh, now you just learn to live with it. You're like, you love it. No, up until the age of 16, I then had to be rushed into the hospital and they did keyhole surgery. So they went in my belly button. Oh, okay. One here on my side and one here on my pubic line. Okay. And they flushed my ovaries out, like with a hose. And what causes like, it? Just something that people have. People with PCOS, which is polycystic ovary syndrome. Okay. They don't really know why it happens, but it affects about one in four cis women. Oh, okay. No. My maracas don't jiggle jiggle, <laughs> they're ovaries. Your ovaries jiggle, my ovaries juggle. We are not the same. Oh dear. That's art. Oh. We love a circus performer. Art the terrified. Yeah, art the terrified. Juggling <laughs> is <know>. ovaries. <laughs> Her breast jiggled neurodivergently. What? ADHD breasts? Like what am I, what are we, like what? Yeah, because if you go on the uh, subreddit, it says she breasted boobily down the stairs. I think this whole thing is like in homage. Okay. Maybe. That's Boobily. the vibe is, is giving me. Oh, boobarella. Mm, it's about Elvira, isn't it? My boobs are boobling and booby. Tinky winky booby. Booby boob. <laughs> booby tubbies. Mine are shaking with Oh, they're shaking with Oh my God. Hey, it's already a 30% chance it's already raining. <laughs> Autism. 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 My tits are on the spectrum. I mean, what can we say? Just, just one, one of them, mind you. Yeah, just one. The other one doesn't have an official diagnosis. No, yet. it's still waiting it's still on, it's still on the waiting the list NHS. yeah the nhs is crippling yeah sorry they just found out time for one nipple <laughs> hashtag actually, justice for the boobs justice for the boob <laughs> left is just as important as the right which uh, one of yours is bigger than the other left is it left yeah, oh yeah. jamie says it's because my heart is so big oh that's a little shit it is right yeah. Yeah. he's named them oh do you have names for your boobs no I, I don't think gay men would do that i feel like you could i feel like gay men more name their <laughs> than they're like pecs uh, my boobs are called bubble and squeak and yeah. do they bubble and squeak yes because that sounds like a disorder oh they make a noise oh see the we laughed about the first oh, person circle. and you're talking about bubble and squeak boobs We've disgusting i love bubble and squeak i've not bubble and squeak for a long time it's very like war food but i do like bubble and squeak i'll make some for you mm. Mm. boobble and squeak mm -hmm. i come into the kitchen you're literally like like this over the thing not they only to my breasts cinnamon. yeah my breasts don't rest on the counter they also fry i am mentally exhausted after going through this, is this the brain rock content you expected? I feel like this was a, a, actually a really good way to finish because it's just obscene that you can actually be a bit brain rotty because the whole content is brain rotty. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But what do you think? Can men write women well? No. I mean, it's great for a laugh, <laughs> but I hope these men aren't so serious. They actually speak to women in their life like it. Say. They're like, so, um, Maggie, yeah. No, because these men don't have. Don't have no, that's why friends. they write things like that. No, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie, may I please see your tit? It's Ma for book research. It's for book research, yeah. Oh, I need to know how much. Yeah. They resemble turtles. How much? This is very important to is me. Is those guinea pigs. Remember that guinea pig we had when we were kids, Mavel? <laughs> yeah, I really want to know if your nipples are like that. On a scale of one to BDI red. How, oh, how God. close. Thank you so much for joining us today, Peaches. If you haven't already, you should totally go check out the amazing Rolly. His content is guaranteed to put a smile on your face and a fizz in your pants. And not a just. A fizz in your, that, uh, what, <laughs> we, don't need, we don't need more STIs, please. A just, fizz in your pants. You know, like, you're just so full of beans. What like, did we do over on your channel? We, <laughs> what did we do? <laughs> it was far less brain rot than this. We went on to Ask Reddit and we looked at unhinged questions on Ask Reddit. I actually learned a lot about yeah. you. There was some weirdness. There was some nostalgia. There was lots yes. of, it was actually quite a wholesome video there actually. There was some karma. There was some karma, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. She yeah. got her tits out. I did. Yeah. They were cinnamon tits Yeah, and they too. bubbled and they squeaked. <laughs> and hey, whatever your plans are for the hallow of ween, I hope you're having a good one. Mm -hmm. Dress up as one of these things. This was scary. It, scary, uh, puzzling. Yeah, this is proper. Nightmare worthy Halloween content. Absolutely. Don't tell I'm gonna sleep me. paralysis demon just comes in with these like loud nipples that clack and they sound like a klaxon as you walk Turtles. towards you. <laughs> to god, oh my god, terrapin tits. Thanks again for watching my love. Be kind. Die. And have a great day. And have a great day, yeah. <laughs>